back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna be doing a little video talking about Instagram. So I've been on Instagram for years now and um, I've gathered some tips, you know, to make you look your best. And so anyways, I feel like every time I film, I have a coffee in my hand. I think it's pretty simple to just, you know, take a picture, post it to the gram. So, specifically in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I manage to look my sexiest in an Instagram picture. It doesn't hurt to know some tips and tricks. So, if you're interested in listening and more, just keep watching. So, bringing us to tip number one is makeup. Yes, what you do to your face makes a difference. When I know I'm going to be taking a picture for Instagram, I do tend to put a little more makeup on my face because, you know, sometimes your makeup gets drowned out in a picture. So you could spend like 20 minutes doing your makeup and then you, you go to take a picture and you're like, oh, where'd I go? So my trick to help with that is to just load on the makeup. Just to give you an example, this is what I look like when I just do my makeup how I normally do it. It obviously looks a lot different when I look in the mirror than when I see it on camera. I already have foundation on, I'm not going to go and put more foundation over it, but what you want to do is find, you know, something if you're going to use a foundation. Try and maybe go towards one that's specifically meant for pictures, something that's going to, you know, give you more full coverage in a photo, whatever you're looking for. They have so many foundations that are meant for, you know, taking pictures with and filming. So, this is one of my favorites. This is the Revlon Candid Photo Ready Foundation. So, first tip being, find a good foundation that's going to um, flatter your face. So my second tip, like I said, is I tend to put way more makeup on for a photo than I normally would if I'm just, you know, going out. So, find a good contouring method, whatever you like to use. I've been loving these two products for contouring. This is, it's just a NYX concealer. This is the NYX HD concealer, but what I did is I just picked one out that was a few shades darker. <laughs> Contour with it. This is the L'Oreal True Match concealer. This I use for under my eyes and highlighting and all that stuff. It really does make a difference because sometimes I'll do my contouring and highlighting routine how I normally would and then I go on camera and you can't even see it. So don't be afraid to just pack it on because you know you can take it all off after you're done taking your pictures and you're filming. Um, just so you know it actually shows up in the camera. So yeah, you're definitely going to want to put a ton of more makeup on than usual. If you would like, I can definitely go and film a makeup tutorial that I do before I go and I take pictures for Instagram. Moving on. So this is something I feel like not many people think of. Yep, we are talking about these girls. Wear a push-up bra photo. But if you don't even want to do any of that, contouring you will literally contour. Oh, that didn't look good. <laughs> I'm doing this without a mirror right now, so I'm trying to like look in the <laughs> it's not really working though. Just like with contouring your face and how it creates that shadow, same thing goes with, you take my brush, and we're just going to start blending. But as you can already kind of see with what I did already, see how it creates that shadow? And it just makes them look and appear bigger. So just like with contouring your face, you're also going to want to highlight those parts. I'm going to take some with my finger and this is going right in the center to add that nice highlight to your boobies. 
Sometimes I'll even go ahead and I'll put some on my collar. That's my booby trick. <laughs> I don't do that every time I take a photo, but if I know, like say I'm posting a bikini photo or something, you know, where my cleavage is a little more seen, I'll go ahead and do that. Just for that little Moving on to my next tip, all famous golden hour picture time. So golden hour is about an hour or so before sunset. So during golden hour, when you take a photo, it just makes you look like bronzy and like literally just like a golden goddess. So an hour or two before sunset, my favorite thing is to literally sit right in front of the window so this, that it is just like pouring onto you. Your selfie is going to come out. Beautiful. Okay guys, so those are my main tips of how I take the perfect sexy selfie. And you know what? It also is all about angles and you know, all that good stuff. So it's it's important to practice and figure out which angles and which lighting makes you look your best. So everyone's different, but I hope that you guys enjoyed these tips and like, if you try them out, please let me know. Um, I'd like to film a video where I just go in detail about exactly the makeup that I do and what I do to get ready for a picture. Alright you guys, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.